Welcome back, YouTube, to episode two of the Morrowind Crawl Through. This is Zero to 100 Gaming, the channel where we start with no resources and work our way up to the most modern consoles, editing programs, and microphones. So in the last episode, we got our ass handed to us by a pugilist, you might say. So in today's episode, we are going to head towards Balmora and see what happens along the way. So I think I want to head to the trade house before I do anything else. Um, I want to sell that stuff that I stole when I was robbing the murderer's house. And when we go to Balmora, I think I might just take the Silt Strider because my character moves so slowly right now. To what do I owe the pleasure, Zero Dill? Okay. This ring is kind of valuable. I wonder how much I can get for that. 169. Yeah, that's fine. Common shoes. I don't need any of this stuff. Actually, the mushrooms might be worth keeping because I think I need those in a quest coming up. Bottle, jug, bottle, bottle. Yeah, we've got over a thousand gold. I can definitely afford to take the Silt Strider to Balmora. I think I'm going to keep this, though. Yeah, I'm going to keep the mushroom stuff because there's a quest for the Mage's Guild that requires that. But first, that other quest. I have to find, what's his name? Vodinus or something like that. Under sun and fire. Any time now. There he is. I'm listening. Vodunius Nucius. Yes, what do you want? Okay, I got that other option. Right, that's me. If you decide to take the Silt Strider, tell. Darvain player and I sent you. The names are great in this game. I wonder what they're based off of. I feel like there's sort of some Roman influence, but I don't know about history or etymology to say for sure. Where would you like to go? Okay, I've got to ask her about here's business I win. And I do him a little favor now and then. Poor fellow, I don't think he's happy here in Marwind. And so that gives you the journal entry where it mentions that he's unhappy, so I'm going to go talk to him again, and I think that I can Keep moving. help him in some way. Well, what's up? Heard you're having a bad time. Not happy here? In fact, no, I'm not. If I had 100 drakes, I'd be on the next boat to Narsus. Okay. Bought his ring. And that's that. Speak freely, friend. Okay, so now let's get out of here and head to Balmora. You know, the Silt Strider is one of the weirdest things in this game. I feel like everything else is pretty much in keeping with, you know, medieval storytelling and lore. It's like, yeah, there's magic, there's swords, there's weird monsters, but you see all of that in any sort of ancient themed video game. Whereas the Silt Strider is just this weird big locust creature that doesn't really make any sense and just kind of pops out of nowhere. Plus they make those really weird moaning sounds. Where would you like to go? Alright. So we're in Balmora, one of the larger towns in the game. Or it's actually probably one of the biggest cities. And I remember that if you go into the council club, you can get some what are they, pauldrons, the armor piece that I still need. Right, here they are. Oh, and boots, finally. Okay, so now I think we've got a full steel set. I'll sell the I'll sell everything else that I was using before. Oh, 
Uh, that's better. Fully armored steel man. So I should ask in Balmora at the corner club called South Wall. When I find Caius Casades, I must give him a package of documents. Okay, so the South Wall corner club is over this way. And I think it's the home of the Thieves Guild, if I'm not mistaken. I might do some quests for them. That could be fun. So let's see. Sotildi. What's your story? <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you. Caius, that old sugar tooth? I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacalo Clausius. Clausius? Yeah. Bacalo Clausius, the owner. He'll know. Did you just hiss at me? That was weird. Okay. Well. Arthur, Sugar Lips, <laughs> Sugar Lips, Fane, no, only he stands there. No, okay, I guess the owner's not down here. Probably upstairs then. Old Caius rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. Okay. Not the terrace. What is this about? I forgot about loading. One of the things I don't miss about the old Xbox. Just me old spud going for a jog, trying to meet Caius. Ah. This guy's jacked. Look at you that. You want something, friend? Like, dude, you take creatine? What? Yes, I'm Caius Casades. But what do you mean? You were told to report. What are you talking about? So, you say your name is Spud, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Sure. My orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Spud? Well, why would you recruit a guy named Spud, but sure. Okay, your journal has been updated. So there are the trainers. I'm not going to take the time to read all this. Okay, so before I start following his orders, I think I'm going to do a quest for the Thieves Guild, maybe a few quests. And there's also a sword that I want to pick up. Uh, the sword was in one of the guard towers. Let's see. There's... Is that a tower? Yeah, I think that's one of the towers. I just remember it was hidden in one of these guard towers and that it was a decent sword to start the game with. What's that? Chitin War Axe? Oh, it's, not, it's not worth anything. Masera. I think it was, yeah, it was on top of the closet. That's it right there, isn't it? Okay, what is that? The Sword of White Woe. Long blade, one-handed, perfect. 26, 26, 26. Value 17,000. Okay, now how do I get it without this guy noticing me? Maybe I'll use, I'm gonna try to do it, jump on, hmm. Okay, let's see, yep, hidden.
how do I get it? Oh, I'm not on top of the pods, am I? I might need to use a spell. Okay, that's good. Now, gotcha. Perfect. Okay, well, that's a much better sword than I had before. How much of an upgrade was that? So I went from 13, 18, 16 to 26 across the board. Yeah, that's a fair trade. Okay, now that I've... Yes, dipped my toe into the pool of thievery, I think that I'll continue on that. Continue on that path with some Thieves Guild quests. So I'm going to head back over to the South Wall Corner Club. Okay, is it you that I talked to? Let's see. Thieves Guild, that was the last entry. Why are you asking me? Maybe you'd like to join the Thieves Guild. Talk to Sugar Lips. Oh, okay. I'll talk to Sugar Lips. Arathor. Sugar Lips Habasi. Hello, Sugar Lips. You look like you may have some skill. <laughs> what makes you say that? You want to join? Or maybe you want to know what we're all about? Yeah, I'll join. Advancement. Nope. Jobs. A good friend of Habasi wants a diamond. Nalkaria the alchemist has diamonds. Diamonds. Okay, so I need to go steal a diamond. So the alchemist is in the manor district of the city or the nicer side of town. Remember they're all the way up the hill on the other side near House Huelu. I think after I do some of the Thieves Guild quests I'm going to join House Huelu because I know that you can make a lot of money that way. The Fighters Guild quests are are decent. I know that some of the later quests are really fun with the Fighters Guild but it's also difficult to get good equipment if you don't have some coin and House Leilu is the best way to do that. I seem to remember not liking House Redoron's quests, and I don't think I've ever done Talbani's the Canada. But yeah, so Nalkaria the Alchemist. So I need to steal a diamond. Oh, there she is. Uh, I need to go upstairs. I bet there's one up here. Oh, that, that would make sense. I wonder if I can actually... <coughs> the first try. The first try. Three diamonds. Great. You know, while I'm up here, I'm, I wonder who, who would buy this stuff, though. Because I can't sell it back to her. She'll know. I'll just pick one of the sketchy traders. I like stealing. I like stealing. Stealing's what I like to do. Oh, great. Ah, what? No. How? Oh. You violated the law, Spud. Okay. What's the best way to play this? I think I will resist arrest. Oh god, no, no, bad, bad. I, I just...
Okay, guys. So I loaded my last save, and I would let you know that. I guess I thought I could escape the guard. I was gonna try to go out onto the terrace and then jump down, but that, well, obviously didn't happen. So now we're back on the quest. We've got to return the diamonds to Sugar Lips. I think on the way we're gonna stop at a merchant down here and get rid of some of the stuff I stole. Armorer. Yeah, traitor. Ravere. Hi, Ravere. Do you want some ill-begotten treasures? No, definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's see what he's got. The Devil's Spear. Uh, the Fiend Katana. That could be good. Bound Longsword for 60 seconds on self. I don't know what that does, but it's 9,000, so I guess it should be good. I don't want to buy that right now, though. I should probably pick up some torches, because I think we're going to be going into some caves and tombs soon, and those usually help, but I don't see any. All right, that's fine. So let's go find sugar lips. I think sugar is the slang term they use for one of the drugs in this game. I think it might be... Is it skooma? I don't really know. I don't really like Balmora. It takes too long to walk across. Okay. Hey, Sugar Lips. Here are your diamonds. Yes, a diamond. Habasi will take care of everything. Habasi cannot pay you until Habasi's friend pays Habasi, but Habasi has this potion to give you. Well, thanks, Habasi. Exclusive invisibility. Yeah, that could be helpful. That's actually a decent reward. Um, okay, let's see if I can get the advancement yet. You are now Spud the Wet here. I like that title. I think I'll put that on my resume. It's like... Current employment, wet year. Okay, let's see if there are more jobs. Habasi wants a key to Nurano Manor. Okay, Nurano Manor. Habasi wants the key to Nurano Manor. Downstairs manors are rarely locked, but Habasi wants to go upstairs secretly. Who has the key? Andres Nurano has a key. Habasi thinks Nurano's servant, Savor Trondel, at the corner club has a key. Okay, let's try the corner club. That sounds like a good place to start. So the South... No, where was it? It wasn't the South Wall Corner Club, it was the other Corner Club. It was the one that I went to when I first arrived here to get those pauldrons. Which actually, because I died, I had to restart and I don't have the pauldrons, so I'm going to pick those up while I'm here anyways. The Council Club, that's it. So, is this, this guy? Thalian Velas? Let's see. No, Savor Trondal. But I'm going to pick those up. Sell the fur boots. Yeah, my disposition was really low towards him. I'm going to have to bribe the, the guy a lot. Okay, Savor Trandall. Okay, Persuasion. Gold. 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 Okay, let's see. 
I can ask him about the Murano Manor. That's where I work. For a small consideration, I might tell you a bit more. The key to Murano Manor has been added to your inventory. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should just go back and give him the key, or if I should poke around a little bit. I think I'm going to go see what's in the manor. So I'm pretty sure Nerano Manor is one of the ones at the top of the hill over here. Remember in the later house play loop quests, you can get your own manor. And I think that that comes with like a bunch of ebony stuff, so we're definitely going to try to do that as we progress. But for now, we're going to have to stick to kind of the basics. Well, we already have an ebony sword, which is nice. Except my stamina and health is just so low that any fight I'm basically planning on losing. Okay, let's see. Flaylu Manor, no, that's not it. What's this? Murano, that's right. Oh, there's this person here. Andres Narano. Okay, he's the guy who, the other one I could have talked to. Um, man, I can't really steal anything with him watching. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anything up there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. There's stuff over here, too. Books. I hope none of you are too upset that I'm not going to take the time to reach, read each of the books to you, but that seems like a waste of time to me. I just want the skills. Alright, that wasn't empty. Well, that's a letdown. Nope, that goes outside. that. And that's trapped. I don't have uh, any of the... I don't have that other tool that allows you to unlock traps. So I'm going to have to skip that one. Plus I don't think my skill is high enough to unlock it. I'm over encumbered. Okay. It's probably all the books. Well, and the armor, but... Okay, so we have two diamonds. Those don't weigh anything. Yeah, I'm just going to drop all these pots because they weigh too much. So I can get quite a pretty good deal for all this stuff. Now I'm over encumbered again. Uh, 30, 40, 25, 25. I'm just going to drop the low value books. Failed. 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 Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's enough looting. Let's go talk to Sugar Lips and then... Actually, I'll sell this stuff and then talk to Sugar Lips because it's on the way. Wrong door. I like how there's like a huge table set up and then there's just one guy kind of chilling. Is he wearing pants? Yeah, just has really beefy quads. Must be doing his squats. Okay. I like how I'm running in slow motion. I hope this gets better soon. I wonder if there's a trainer that I can go to for that. What would that be? Would that be like endurance or aerobics, athletics, something like that? I'll have to make my way to one of the Blades trainers to upgrade that. 
because I don't know how much more I can stand slow motion running, especially not when we start heading into like the northwestern region of the, of, uh, what is it, Warrenfell? Don't want to sell that stuff. Couldn't afford it. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, there. You should be able to afford that. Revere's, Revere's awesome. Best trader in Balmora, by far. Actually, it would be nicer if he carried a bit more gold, but beggars can't be choosers. I think that's funny. It's like I'm expecting a sword to be pulled out, but it's like, ding! Get out of the queue. Head on. Well, what is this about? Well, what is this about? Okay, you wanted the key, didn't you? Here. Oh, 500 gold, not bad. Advancement. You are now the foot pad. Spud the foot pad. Let's see, jobs. No good friend of Abasi stole the Dwemer artifacts from the guild. Go to Fat Legs drop off in Hua Ode. If Razid won't give you the Dwemer artifacts, find them and return them to Habasi. You must bring Habasi a Dwarven Goblet, a Dwarven Bowl, and a Dwemer too. Okay. Hua Ode. I think that's one of the small villages that you can reach by boat. Um, but there's no boat in Balmora. Alright, I'll take the Silt Strider somewhere with a boat, and then take that to Hua Ode. That sounds right. A special trip. Why walk when you can run? Good question. Okay. I could probably get there from Seda Neem. That sounds that sounds logical, doesn't it? I walked when you can ride. Oh, but there's no boat here, is there? Right. All right, Vivek, there's definitely a boat there. You know, I don't think the last time I played this game I ever explored Vivek in any great depth. That'll be something we have to do as well. This is starting to look like a very long, well, I guess we're calling it the crawl through anyway, so. Taking time should be expected. And there's the other boat, so we're going to Fat Legs drop off in Hua O. Well, hi there. Uh, hello, oh, first one. What is this about? All right. Fat legs drop. Sounds like a tavern or something. It's a house. Hey, it looks like a monk. Yeah. All right, nothing special. House. 
Oh, fell like drop off. I wonder who Fat Leg is. Is that Fat Leg? No, that's Razi. That's the guy I was looking for. And Trasim. Okay. Do more artifacts? Oh, of course. Yeah, you won't tell me. Uh, weren't they hidden in here somewhere? Yeah, let's see. Wooden barrel? No. Oh, yeah, chest. Obviously they're there. Okay, how do I... Hmm. Maybe I should... I'm gonna try to taunt that guy into attacking me and maybe he'll have a key. You have, to do, you have to do this like a hundred times and eventually he'll say like, get ready to die or something like that and then you can fight him. And I don't think it should be too difficult to kill this guy. Unless he's like that boxer from the first episode. That was ridiculous. Perhaps I will end yours. Okay, so he's starting to get annoyed. I wonder if there's like a set number of times you have to do this or if it's like a probability. So there's a 10% chance that he'll attack you. Probably lower than that. I should just get a Frenzy Potion or a Frenzy Spell. That would probably be faster, but whatever. I'm sure this will work eventually. Unless I accidentally bribe him 10 gold. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Raises disposition. Oh, there it is. Yep. This one is no more. Okay, yeah. He, he's attacking. Feel that ebony weapon. Yeah, early game OP. This one is no more. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that got the key. Now I just have to make sure this dude doesn't see me. I don't have to kill him too, do I? Ah, there. What? No! Okay, back to the Thieves Guild. Wait, I wonder if I can take boats when I have a bounty. Because if not, uh, I might just have to, I don't know, do something else, but... Nope, seems like it's working. So I'll just go to the Thieves Guild and clear my bounty after I hand over these artifacts. And I think that that should probably take us out to the conclusion of the episode. Yeah, so I gotta say, I'm enjoying getting back into Morrow. And it's, uh, it's a little different than I remember. I seem to remember having an easier time in the earlier game. Um, like, I don't remember getting killed by guards and three or four hits, but that is what it is. Um, but it's, it's nice, yeah, it's like a journey through history, reliving the good old days. Balmora. So I think in the next episode we're probably just going to continue with the Thieves Guild quests. Once we complete all the ones that are possible in Balmora, I'll continue with the main storyline or move on to the Fighters Where Guild, like um, depending on what level I'm at. And after that, I think we'll be heading north, but that's about all I know. Remember, there are some other larger cities to the north where you can get more quests. But for now, I'm just going to return these artifacts. Oh, and clear my bounty. Can't forget to clear the bounty. Okay, where's Sugar Lips? Hey, Sugar Lips. Okay, so I've got some probes and some lockpicks now, so I won't. I will be able to defuse those traps. Let's see if I can advance. Okay, no, I can't. And I need to clear my bounty. So someone down here does that, right? This person. 
Well, they call it a price on your head, right? Price on your head. Okay. Great. All right. And so uh, with that, thanks for watching.